Hello and thank you for clicking on the link to watch this video. We're going to take a look at one of the more exciting Intuit payment solutions right now uh, called GoPayment. You probably heard about it. It's been out for a couple years, but it seems to be ramping up as far as usage. You know, it's compatible with your iPhone or Android or even tablet. And for your uh, smartphone, you know, it has the uh, card swipe. You can attach to the bottom and swipe the card. And, and it does integrate with QuickBooks. So this video is, is, well, how does it integrate with QuickBooks? So let me do a couple charges. And although you can't see my phone, I'm kind of using like a mock window here of what it would look like. So I, I shrunk it so it would look like, you know, you're looking at the, uh, the window of a phone. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick charge here. And here's what it'll look like. Put in the amount. Exactly. And the card number uh, that you can use. I mean, not you, but the one I'm going to use. This is a fake card number, just so you know. Put in this, and then... And security code. Zip. And a memo. You know, I could say this is for Ray. I'm going to do a couple of these. So let's go ahead and charge that card. So the card is charged was successful. You can send the receipt or not, or avoid the charge from here. Notice you're not going to put the customer information. But I'll show you where that that shows later. So I'm going to click no receipt, but I could send it to the phone or I could email it. Those are the two options when you click uh, uh, the receipt or send receipt. I'm going to charge another one here. You can do your cents if you want. You want to see that sales tax or whatever. Again. see any items or anything like that but it's just gonna allow me to charge it great and here I'll just so you can see what happens when you click send receipt is an option for email or the mobile phone okay in this case gonna no receipt so now how do you how do you handle that in QuickBooks and of course from the go payment app you can see past charges and their settings and things like that and I can make this a little bigger so you can see what kind of reporting you see just from your phone okay so I'm gonna minimize this for now now how do you bring that payment into QuickBooks so I'm gonna to go to the home page and then because I have this file turned on for merchant services, I can click get online payments right from the home page and I click mobile transactions, have a bullet pointed, click OK. It's going to open up a little web based app within my QuickBooks company file. We'll let that open. Now, sometimes with recording these things and in Jing, the resources are a little bit, uh, you know, it takes a while for the window to open anyway. Now, in QuickBooks Online, uh, you're able to do a sales receipt or an invoice or from the payment window. In QuickBooks Desktop, you have an option for you know, the uh, invoice or apply payment if you want. So here are the two ones I just did, and I'm actually going to apply them to customers, and I'm going to choose the customer uh, here. This one will be for Ray, and this one will be for Go Payment Customer because I'm using the memo to help me out there and click Apply to Customers. That would be the second step. Now, when you come into this window, make sure that you are going to take care of all these transactions here because they won't leave them for next time. So uh, in this case, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and apply this payment for Ray, and it opens up my customer payment window, and I can go ahead and click to the payment, and then go ahead and click Save and Close, and that's how easy it is to, to apply the Go Payment payment to the actual invoice. So closed out an invoice. Now I'll go back to the Go Payment window, and in this case, I have another option of being able to create an invoice. So I'm going to go click on that, and there's my the Go Payment customer. I'm going to do stuff, and it's uh, with tax, so dollar and eight cents. Click OK, and then it'll give me an option to apply the payment. Step two: apply payment to that particular invoice. Click Save and Close, and then I'm done. So that's how easy it is to bring in for. Go payments and download them into your QuickBooks company file and either create an invoice or apply payment. Hope that was helpful and you have a great day.